Criminals lucky enough to escape public execution still had to face transportation or the madness of prison. The basement cells of the House of Detention in Clerkenwell have survived to tell their dreadful tale, even though above ground is now a school and a car park. This place has had many lives. These cells were used as bunkers during the Second World War. But I'm more interested in how they were used in the 17th and 18th century as prison cells. Conditions down here were really appalling, and not just appalling, disgraceful. Little cells were crammed with men, women, children, 20, 30 to a cell. It must have been really awful. And Dr. William Smith, when he inspected the King's Bench Prison in 1776, found terrible debauchery and drunkenness. In that one prison, there were 30 gin shops running. Of course, if you were rich, it wasn't so bad, because you could probably buy yourself rooms in the governor's house, and even have your meals sent in from a fancy restaurant outside. But the poor had to pay for their own board and lodging, and if they didn't have any money, it must have been pretty tough.